Poverty, illness, and lack of education were the main problems that people of Stabla Antar slum are suffering from. Then, the organization of Helm Stabla Antar, of the dream of Stabla Antar that was built in 1909, has been trying to find solutions for these struggles by building the school of Helm Stabla Antar. نانا اليوم الدراسي بيبدا من الساعه 8 لغايه الساعه 4 ونص الاولاد بيشتغلوا بيتقسموا فترتين جزء بيخش المدرسه الصبح وجزء الثاني بيخش ورشه تعليميه ورشه سجاد علشان خاطر اهاليهم يرضوا ان هم يعلموهم فلازم يكون في مردود مادي عشان ي... ما يدوش يعني ما يخلوشهم يروحوا يشتغلوا بره عشان يوافقوا على التعليم. The school was built in 2006 with the donation. and it consisted of 106 students, 12 classes, and 8 teachers. رغم ان هم ما دخلوش مدارس او ما تعلموش قبل كده بس يعني ده بيخلي عندهم شوق ان هم يتعلموا وبيبقى عندهم حماسه رغم ان ما فيش حد يعني تقريبا في البيئه المحيطه بيهم بيقدر يساعدهم في موضوع المذاكره مع ذلك بنلاقيهم متحمسين وبيعملوا الواجبات بتاعتهم وبينتظموا في الحضور وبيأدوا الانشطه اللي احنا بنعملها معاهم. The students learn different crafts at the school, such as candles and sculpting. Besides, they have a small carpet factory in collaboration with the cotton factory to help them to get the materials and sell the products. يعني أنا هنا من وأنا صغير خالص. علمون الشغل وعلمون الأدب والأخلاق. Helm Stabla Antar also offers the students medical insurance and gives them a daily meditation sessions. Besides building a school for the children of Stabla Antar, the organization also opened a small factory for women whose husbands are unemployed, and it offered them job opportunities so they would have a proper life. With the efforts of 13 workers, many clothes are made here. and sold in different bazaar and shops, and sometimes exported to different countries. Although the development is a star far ahead, that doesn't stop the organization of Helm Stabla Antar from working or renovating this area. Hagar Atz for ACTV.